Hi there, this is Paige with Stamp Girl here on YouTube and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm sharing with you my tags for the Great American Stash Bash. This is hosted by Heather's Handmade Haven and on the 10th of each month we share some tags that we've made and on the last day of the month we share some cards that we made and then there is a theme for each month and I'm just going to double check. I think the theme was Spring Easter. Uh, let's see, there we go. Yep, Spring and Easter. So I did an Easter theme for mine. I had in my stash for a very long time a huge package of these door hangers. They're on glossy cardstock. They come three die cut door hangers to a sheet. This is the label that was on the package. I have no idea when and where I bought these. Like I said, um, I've had them forever. Um, silly me, I was going to use these as um, one of the things to use it up for this month, but I mean I've got a stack about that thick of these things, three to a, a sheet, so there's no way I'm going to uh, be able to use them up. But I did use them for my tags, so let me show you what I did. So this little part punches out, you know, so it'll hang on a doorknob. And what I did is I folded this back. I scored and folded it back so that I matched the two rounded corners of the front and back and then made a crease right there. And then I saved this piece to um, use as part of my little tag. So here's one of them. Here's where I folded it and then I just glued it together. I put some pattern paper on the back side and I put a square white to um, write a message or a to and from which I haven't stamped yet. On the front I used a little Happy Easter greeting. I'm not real sure where that came from but I punched it out with um, two uh, Stampin' Up Punch. I always forget the name. Deb will remind me. Classic Ladle Punch. And then I layered that onto an older Stampin' Up! Punch called Modern Label Punch, I believe. And then I went in my stash and pulled out some plaid papers and some foam stickers. These are probably from Dollar Tree. Behind the little eyes, nose and mouth, I just added a little oval of brown cardstock. And then I added a brad. And I added that before I glued it together but this will slide open and then I had some rub-on Easter egg um, stickers in my stash. Now the funny thing was is on the package they were real glittery but when you went to put them down on your paper they were dull, very dull and I don't know if it's because they were so old but as I started to burnish them down to make sure they'd stick really well because they are rub-ons. Then some of the sparkle came back, but not nearly um, as sparkly as they showed on the package itself. But anyway, I've got that one. And very similar as this one. Just the eggs will be different. And then I found some little jelly bean stickers that I used on some of them as well. This pretty ribbon is from Stampin' Up! It was uh, one of their celebration items from a couple years ago came in a package of, was it four or five different colors? Really pretty. Perfect for for Easter and spring. And then here's another one. And then here's a little bit <clears throat> different color combination. I just love plaid paper, especially in those spring colors. It's just so Eastery to me. And here's another one. And the number of tags that I made just was determined by how many of those rub-on stickers I had left because I wanted to use them up. So, um, two, four, six, made eight of them. So there you go. 
there's my share for this month. I'd like to thank you for joining me and down below um, I'll leave a link to Heather's channel so you can check out, go back and check out her specific video for the Great American Stash Bash and how you can uh, join in. And now I'm off to create.